Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh to all the Ripper Hadith disciples, YouTubers, and viewers. Welcome back to a new video on Ripwright HD. We back again with the static bros, man. You already know free and do. So they're gonna be giving y'all the planch progressions, man, from beginner to advanced. So what we starting off with guys. All right. So this is something that I do that really, really helps me. And this is when you kind of get into the technical subtleties of the plants. You look at any other plant progression video on YouTube. These are some technical subtleties that you won't see anywhere else. So think about this: when you're on a motorcycle, you got to throttle. You do like this to rev it up, boom, boom, boom. It's the same thing you do with a plant. If you look at any person that has a really, really solid plant, they always grab the bar and they do like this, kind of like with the motorcycle, to get that grip real strong. And these four fingers is gonna create an under grip under the bar. Cause this is where you're gonna like kind of twist and bend it. So the tighter your grip, the more forearm engagement that you get. So, like they say in jiu-jitsu, position before submission. So grab the position, grab the bars real tight. Hollow your back out, get that hollow body because the motor unit recruitment is gonna come from right here. Raise your hips, you want your hips aligned with your back and then lean as far as you can. On your tippy toes, preferably. And you're twisting the bar. Right. And how soon should they be holding that? When when should they move on from that progression for how many seconds? Like yo, I can hold that for 30 seconds. Then I should move on or I can hold it for 10 seconds. I think I I think 30 seconds is pretty good to move on from that to, to move on to it if you're if you're not advanced, if, if you move on too advanced, um, if you move on too soon when you're not advanced, you could hurt yourself. Mm. Yeah. You, you want to make sure your scalpel, your laps, is strong enough yeah. before you try, before you start attempting uh, the plants because you can hurt yourself if you do too soon. You don't want to prematurely do, you know. Got it. Move on to the next. So, and, hold up. There's one thing that we should say because before you was talking about how you do your pull-ups. Anybody that wants to do any straight on strength move should always lock all the way out with their pull-ups. Because if you come in right here, if it's your pull-ups or your muscle-ups, you're get not going to have the necessary tendon strength for straight on strength moves. The plants is a straight on strength move. So if you're doing your pull-ups like this halfway, no forget bueno. about the plants. Forget about any advanced straight on strength Everything going to be bent on. No, I agree. So, yeah. so, yeah. From, so from the planch lean, I can hold it 30 seconds. Where do I go next? Uh, Plants lean. Uh, you can go straight into uh, push-ups. Plants, plants push-ups, not full plants push-ups. But the, the plants lean push-ups, almost like pseudo. Right. So hollow your back. Before you start, hollow your back. The easiest way I can explain it. You want to make sure that your back is completely parallel to the ground, perpendicular to the ground. How? Am I straight? You're straight. Yeah, good, good. Down, up, down, up. And you see when he's coming down. back up to, he's coming right back up to a locked out, down. lean forward up. position. He's not coming straight down. up vertical. He's at a lean up. forward position. Here, you see that big muscle on the top? That's that's scapping your trap. Right. Okay. That upper back, the cobra. That's why you got such a big back here. All that upper back muscle. Okay. So let me demonstrate so, on the, uh, the okay. higher pyramids. With the higher pyramids, you can get a, a, a deeper dive where you can actually uh, break ninety. So grab the pyramids real tight. Get a little lean forward. Am I in the position? Yes. Okay. 
Boom. Nice. So for a guy like me, I can actually planch lean. I'm not sure how long, but I don't I don't know if I would be able to go from a planch lean to a tuck planch push up. So would there be something a little more for a guy like me? Oh, to almost a tuck, and then you're swiping over. Because I usually try pseudo push-ups as well, like the planche lean, but actually doing push-ups with it. Yeah, so, so I think you mentioned. These are the push-ups you're talking about, where you go into the position. Nah, that's deep dish, so that's definitely going to be harder. Yeah. Uh. You're actually piped a little bit, buddy. Yeah. Oh, your butt, yeah, because his butt's up? My butt? Yeah. Yeah. Now, I wonder how my butt raises a little bit, so it can simulate what the plant looks like. A little bit piped. Okay. So, it, it, it was high. Okay. Which one? No, the pseudos. He could probably try it on the floor. So, so for the ones that don't have parallax. The, the ones that you were just doing, you do want your body to be straight. It's like your regular plant. And then when you lean, you put my hand Then when you lean. Got his toes pointed. Lean. Nice. See where his hands at? Oh, where's I see Yeah. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. I wasn't at my waist. That's supposed to be at my waist. Yeah. 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 You see the tilt forward? Yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. the same. Yeah. yeah. So it's, yeah. It's, yeah. it's almost the same yeah. thing on the floor. No, that's not easy. Yes. That's why, like, on the floor would probably be a lot. On the floor, control it a little more. I don't have the flexibility. The flexibility to do this, so I turn my hands backwards, mm. almost. And so what you do is, you can start them here, and then take your toe up a little. Mmm. If you throw up a little more, if you throw up a little more, you make it into a four. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. It's up. You actually, you'll feel yourself get to the point where you lean forward. Nice. Ooh, Ooh nice, 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 nice. That's because his hands is by his waist, he has that center of gravity. You know, that's why it's so important is you push from your waist. Okay, so we're gonna we the alright, so we went from the, the lean to the to the pseudo push-ups to the tuck planche push-ups. Right. So where we at where we at after that? Uh, so tuck planche. I'll use this. So you want to come, you still want to focus on your hips, your waist, and your core. Mmm, almost L sit, V sit to tuck planche, nice. Core engagement guys, glutes. Anterior delts. So wrap that up. You can wrap that out. Go to your max. Whatever you can do, do it. Just make sure your form is correct. Make sure everything is nice and neat. This way you can get the most the bang for your buck. That's it. Without a doubt. So I'm gonna show you one more uh, variation of uh, those tuck planch dips I was doing, pseudo uh, dips or whatever they call them. So these are what I call uh, Superman dips. So the key to these is, is just like the, the tuck uh, planch push-ups, you break a 90, so the purpose of breaking 90 on the dips is that way you have enough explosion of force 
So push your legs out. And you can also do these in a straddle position. So you come into a tuck position, and then you come down, then you push it out. Boom. Mm. Boom. 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 Nice. So you can do those, and you can you can do those in a straddle position where you just come down and you push out as you're pushing out, your legs go out at the same time. Okay. Another thing, you can uh, if you have a bar or something, it's something to hold your feet, lock your heels in place. Yep, elevated guys. Make sure your body is straight. Nice. Pseudo elevated push ups, guys. Nice, 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 nice. You guys see what he's pushing from? He's pushing from his waist. Yes, guys. And you can adjust the hand position to whatever you're comfortable with. You can go like this or you can go like that, whatever's comfortable for you. Right. Yeah. But the further your hands are back, the harder it is. But that's the goal to have your hands back uh -oh. as far as possible. Easily balanced. Come right here real quick and we'll show you one more variation. And when you finish your uh, planche training, excuse a lot of times, excuse me, not as far as possible, but at the waist. At the waist. Yeah. When you finish your planche training, a lot of times what I do, I just do burn, burn out sets of these. I usually go for just 10 second holds where you just get into a position. And the first thing you want to do is put the pirouettes behind you. That way you're putting them kind of behind you. You are already preparing yourself to be in a lean forward position. Then I come here and I just hold it. Mm. And then if you have assistance, someone to hold you. <laughs> just lift it up a little bit. So let, let me do the same thing you do. Okay. Assistance, man, that's nice. Ah, oh. That's work. Nice, that's where nice. the gains come in at, guys. Nice, yeah. nice. Yes, nice. indeed. All right, guys. So, so how much so far? That was we. They giving y'all jewels, man. They giving y'all jewels, y'all. So they should be doing this for reps and sex, right? Staying in those positions yes. for seconds. Yes, yes, yes. As yes. long as you could. Yes. Reps and sex. Yes. And Not you. sets. Now, you can do a variation of what we just did, but you can find a wall. And this way, because with calisthenics, unlike weightlifting, sometimes with calisthenics, it's hard to track your progression. So, this is a way you can track your progression. You get like a ruler or something, and or even just a piece of paper, and you can see how far, far you're leaning. Your lean forward strength is, you mark the pirouettes, and as you go further back, you're like, okay, look at this. My, look how my lean forward strength is getting better. So when your head hits the wall. I want you, when you do it, do it again, but bring your waist down some more. Okay. Right here. Mm -hmm. A little more. A little more. Man, I feel like I'm flat. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's... So, that's why he was. The reason I'm emphasizing the. Uh, show him the bike version so he sees the long way. Show, um, show him the way he's doing it. So you can see what he's doing. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you see how high he's doing this. Is still? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm talking about the bike version. Yeah. 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 Oh, my shoulder, that's why it's hard on the floor. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. Just went right into it. And tell me how you, how you elevate it. You just put more pressure on your hands, right? Yeah, put more pressure on my hands. Yes. And when you put more pressure on the hands, you actually feel it go straight up to the forearm. It's fine. And you can actually see it. So if you get closer, you should actually be able to see it. Yeah, you can see where it's firing from. So, once I lean, Feet still on the floor, guys. Pay attention. Feet. Boom. Fire it. Ah. Eat. Oh, yeah. Sheesh. 
I'm telling you guys, that planche takes a lot out of you. This is not easy. Wow, you straight. Drop down. Yeah. Mmm. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I felt it. Yeah, I felt it. Yeah. All right, guys. We in Cali Rev, man. You just got a planche tutorial from two of the best, man, when it comes to plants in the calisthenic world. Y'all stay tuned, stay ripped. <laughs> Indeed in the body, literal translation, is a lump of flesh, a piece of meat. And when that lump of flesh,